well. All right. Well, as you're getting ready for work this morning, you may want to read the ingredients in all of those lotions, creams, makeup that you're using. Some of it could contain deadly toxins. And here now to explain is safe beauty expert, industry executive and chemist David Pollack. Thank you for joining us. Good morning. So we worry about the food we eat, the water we drink, even the air we breathe. But we overlook the fact that toxins can enter our body through our skin. Up to 60 percent of the ingredients that we put onto our body can be absorbed into our bodies. And so we need to take a look at what's on the ingredient statement. And uh, in fact, you were a chemist for some of the top makeup brands for years, but something prompted you to change course. What was that? Yes. Well, I've done work for almost every major brand, and you'd recognize a bunch of them, and not just makeup, but even skin care and all kinds of personal care. Right. But over the past number of years, I've watched different family members and friends fight the battle of cancer. And some, it's just been a tough battle. So, but being in the room when a doctor tells you that if it's this type of cancer, it's because of this a chemical, or this type of cancer because of this chemical, I had to ask. And they said, well, we don't know all, but we know certain ingredients do cause certain problems. And I said, I've got to make a change. I don't know how it's not on the news every day. Right. And I just said, I've got to get out there. All right. And I made a change. So you have a list, and we're only going to give the top five. There are more on your website, which we'll yes. get to. But okay. uh, the one that you think people have to avoid is parabens. And they're, Definitely. they're almost everywhere. They are. They're considered a food-grade preservative. I presented that argument for a long time. It's a food-grade preservative. But there are studies to show that it can cause cancer. And so when you've got something dangerous going into the body, why use it? And, you know, the industry says that it is absolutely safe, and the FDA has a quote which we'll put up right now, uh, the Food and Drug Administration. The FDA believes that at the present time, there is no reason for consumers to be concerned about the use of cosmetics containing uh, parabens. And yet, in Europe, this and many others are banned. In Europe, 1,100 different ingredients have either been banned or regulated because they've been found to be harmful or toxic. But in the U.S., it's only 11. So the FDA can say what they want. That's fine. There are studies to show otherwise. But a bigger concern is how, how did they test it? Because it's in so many products that I put onto my body. It's in a lot of the foods I eat. And so now you've got it layer after layer after layer. The quantities of it are unbelievable. Right. They talk about how it's a tiny bit in each product, but in you say product. it's cumulative. Well, or we want to get to some more of the uh, the banned ones, or the not banned ones, the ones that you mm -hmm. say should be banned. Uh, PEGs and glycols. PEGs and glycols have to be. I mean, it, uh, polyethylene glycol, it's listed on the label as PEG, as you said, and glycol. All different type of glycols. They're ethoxylated. They're known carcinogens. It's on the the FDA website is a known carcinogen. But okay. again, at trace levels, it's supposed to be okay. But the problem is it's in almost everything, all the way down to a lot of our toothpaste. It adds up. Okay, we're just going to bang through the mm -hmm. last three. Okay. Uh, Laureth sulfates, petrochemicals, and that includes mineral oil and even petroleum jelly. That is Vaseline, correct. And synthetic fragrance, which you say allows them to get away with adding back some of these other ones. It's a trick of the trade. At the end of the day, you can read the label and avoid everything you want. But if it has the word fragrance on it, the FDA says anything that's involved in making the smell including glycols, pegs, or anything else I choose, can be hidden under the word fragrance. So it, it can still smell nice, use extracts or essential oils, but avoid anything that doesn't disclose it and hides it under the word fragrance. David Pollack, thank you so much. And uh, for more information, people can go to your website, which is? Justaskdavid.com. All right. Have a question? Just ask David. Thank you so much. Thank you.